Okay, so we got these marked. We'll stick them here on the drill press. Let's go see what I have for uh, grease fittings. Mm, let's see. Oh, yeah. We got a 45. 90, another 90, should be another 45 right back here, and these look like quarter 28s, so that will be a 7 30 seconds drill bit for a tap, so I'll stick them back up there. Stick them right back up there. Take these, show these in my pocket. And let's get these figured out and drilled. Safety squints engaged.
Okay, so here's where we are on this thing. We have our collar rings drilled, tapped. We have our pins cut. And we have our spacers. And I mean, that one's a little chowdered. But, let's see if I can do this one handed. She's a tight fit. But show you where these are, show you where this is, and these two big spacers are actually gonna slip in here. Probably don't need it, but make me feel a little bit better. And that big pin is actually through here. And what I have is, what I have is these, which are right there. So this collar is gonna get welded to these. And then you can put it in here. You'll have this kind of sandwiched like that. And down here in that hole, will be the axle going out to the wheels and then there'll be a crossbar tying them to that one. So the way this is set up, basically the same thing on that side. But that's pretty much where I'm at. Right here's our hitch, all drilled. Ready to get painted. And a box of parts, hydraulic cylinder. Oh yeah, and these are the uh, mounts for the cylinder. Drilled for a grease fitting. But that's what where I am on this. Okay, so the other night I got all this tacked up. These are just sitting in here right now. Got that tacked up. Got my hydraulic cylinder figured out. And when I did that, I had three other people standing here, so I felt like a county worker. Three people watching, one person working. But it does work pretty nice. So. You should be good. I'm gonna weld all that up and we'll see what happens next. together black green and yellow John Deere should make one this nice getting there
I would say that's pretty fucking good. Considering that's a pretty rough ass pipe. Okay, so that was just a couple clips I had left yet for making this. It is all done. It is Memorial Weekend. Um, I did roll our lawn about five or six days ago. And uh, I just hooked back on it. It was supposed to rain this weekend. But now it's forecasting not to. But it is 90 degrees outside. 95 degrees outside, so I'm kind of hoping yet we still will get some rain. Um, so, a couple things about this thing. I would, I don't know, just a couple thoughts after building this one. As you can see, I still have a, I dropped it back down the wind blocks, and I didn't drop it completely centered down on that one. So you can see. That wheel will spin all the way it's on that wheel right now. So that just kind of shows you how rigid it is. Which is a good thing and a downside at the same time. I think if I would ever build another one, I would put rubber torsion axles in here. Just to give it a little bit of a little bit of a flex to it so you don't have that problem. I mean I'm not that different on the ground and I can just what slide my whole toe underneath that um, as far as holding water this thing has been sitting here for three four days now three days and you can see I think that is just coming out of my fitting here so that's something I really didn't show is my way that I made to fill this. What I actually did is these fittings right here, you can get these right at Fleet Farm in the boating section. They're made for fuel lines. So they seal when you disconnect them on both sides. So, like this one here, you know, it's sealed. But, you see how I just pushed that in? I got a little water out of it. So what I have here is, there you go. But, what I did to fill it, is I just set one side with the fitting on the bottom and I set the other side I got them 180 degrees off from one another so on the side with the fitting on top I put just this black fitting on here just to act as a vent and then my hose I have a garden hose fitting on this side and I put that one on the bottom on the other side and just left it run Took 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes, until I got water coming out the vent on the other side. Worked quite nice. Popped my two fittings off, and it's sealed. No big ball valves, no plugs. Um, I do that turned out really good. And people questioned me on doing that on how long it would take to fill. And actually, I didn't think it was that bad to fill. It's only like you're going to fill this once a year. It ain't... It's not like you're going to fill it, drain it, fill it, drain it, fill it, drain it. Um, my hydraulic lines. I got these online from a Discount Hydraulic. Actually, very, very good priced. Um, all the fittings I needed right away. But when I ordered these two back here, I ordered them a little bit short, so I had to go to my local hydraulic shop and have some extensions made and to connect to the tractor step across 
what I did is I ordered two more hydraulic hoses. So these I had sleeved. So I have a quick connect fitting, a 45, and these just loop around. I sleeved them because if one of these blows, I don't want it that close to me and blowing. And uh, just kind of, they just kind of lay in here. And we go to a bulkhead fitting. This is just a plate. There are two holes here and this crossover bar for the ROPS. And I just made a plate to uh, go on there. And I actually left, made it for two more hoses if I ever got anything that I make anything that needs four hydraulics. Um, works quite nice, could be a little sturdier, but it doesn't interfere with anything because it's far enough off to the side. So your toolbox here, I got my light. So it works perfect. Um, I wish somebody would make a kit like that. Somebody should have that pre-built that you can just buy it and add on. That's that's slick. Um, I uh, did take a piece of aluminum rod here and bended it just for a hose hanger because I didn't want to accidentally snag on there. And there'll be a video I'll be posting probably after this video. The first video of this roll, you'll actually see it ran on the heavy hitch off the three-point arms. And I didn't really like that all that much because the three-point arms can float up. And just a little bit, a lot of weight back here, just didn't like it. So I did order the heavy hitch that goes in the stock drawbar location. Um, she is a beast. But, that's what she is. Hopefully we'll get some rain here pretty soon. Uh, I can go roll some more. Quite happy with it. Works quite well. So, have a nice day. Check out some of my other videos. Give this video a thumbs up. And look forward to some more roller videos as soon as we get some rain and less heat.